So, on Saturday night at the Hollywood Bowl, comedy legend Dave Chappelle was violently assaulted on stage whilst he was finishing his routine, talking about the way that he's had to increase his personal security since trans activists tried to get him cancelled. If you're unfamiliar with the story, here's a brief synopsis. In his last special, The Closer, Dave Chappelle spoke about his late friend Daphne, who was a trans woman and a fellow stand-up. Because when she defended Chappelle, who made jokes about trans people, because he makes jokes about everyone, she was so hounded by members of her own community, she took her own life. Now, the way that Chappelle could go through such a profound subject and make it so meaningful, but also funny, shows what a genius the guy is. But woke Netflix employees held a protest demanding that he was cancelled, calling him, among other things, a white supremacist. A black man married to an Asian woman. I don't think he's the Grand Wizard of the KKK. 23-year-old Isaiah Lee ran onto the stage brandishing a replica handgun with a knife blade attached to it. He may have been trying to kill Dave Chappelle, but he did it in a manner akin to a clumsy rugby tackle. So Dave was able to sidestep and push him to the ground and without missing a beat, said into the microphone, I think that was a trans man. Whereupon security ran onto the stage and kicked the absolute shit out of Mr. Lee, as well they might. I don't usually condone violence, but in this case, I'll make an exception. No details have been released yet as to why Mr. Lee tried to attack Dave Chappelle. So this is pure speculation, but given the timing of the attack, I would guess that he's a far left extremist. Now we hear a lot about far right extremists, but far left extremists, they're just as bad. They are the same, the absolute fucking same. Because what is the difference between a group of neo-Nazi thugs kicking the shit out of someone based on nothing but their ethnicity, and Antifa, the anti-fascists, kicking the shit out of a group of biological women, because those women objected to a trans woman or biological man who'd undergone no surgery, using the female-only area of a naked spa and masturbating in front of their daughters. It transpires this trans woman was actually a convicted sex offender. Can either side there claim the fucking moral high ground? So what I'm guessing we have is a man from the extreme woke brigade who's watched a bit of Chappelle's material and thought, I'm offended, he's hurted my feelings, therefore I'm entitled to stab him. Now, if you're watching anything on TV and you're offended by it and you don't like it, move your fucking thumb. If you're watching me on YouTube and you don't like me, one click, I disappear. Now, just last week, I started watching a comedian on Netflix. He was doing a stand-up special. I got about five minutes in and thought, I don't find this guy funny. But clearly, other people do, because he's playing to a packed auditorium. So I just turned it off, and my next thought wasn't, right, I need to buy a fucking crossbow. As the attacker was being subdued, Jamie Foxx ran onto the stage to check that Chappelle was okay. Dave then finished his routine and handed the microphone to Chris Rock, who opened his set with the brilliant ad-lib, was that Will Smith? And if we look in the background on this photograph, that's Jimmy Carr, Jimmy fucking Carr, who was also appearing on the same evening. Now, I'm assuming that Aisha Lee wasn't there for when Britain's Finest was on the stage, because if he was offended by Dave Chappelle, Carr would have blown his tiny mind. The British comedian with his light-hearted jokes about gang rape and the Holocaust. So why did Mr Lee think it was OK for him to rush onto stage and stab a comedian? Well, I think there are three reasons. Firstly, if he is a member of the radical left, they are radicalised. They're as bad as fucking terrorists. Secondly, he might just be a bit mental. And thirdly, and I think most likely, it's the recent incident between Chris Rock and Will Smith. A few weeks ago, the whole world saw Chris Rock make a joke at Jada Pinkett Smith's expense, which Will Smith laughed at, but then got up and hit Chris Rock in the face over a joke, a fucking joke. And I would bet if it wasn't Chris Rock telling the joke, but The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Will Smith would have stayed in his fucking seat. 
but Chris Rock is a little guy. So Will went up and assaulted him and has gone mostly unpunished. Smith's punishment is that he cannot attend the Oscars for the next 10 years. As if that will make any difference whatsoever. He will never be cast in anything for the rest of his life. That one slap had him effectively ending his own fucking career. And yes, we know there are issues in the relationship with Will and Jada, but we know that because they went on television and told us about it. If you don't want people to know, don't air your dirty laundry in fucking public. And I think the message that sent out was, if someone says something that upsets you and you want to go and assault them in public, then just fucking go for it and there will be no repercussions. And if Mr. Lee hadn't been so inept in his attack, Dave Chappelle could have been murdered on stage. Instead, the assailant was taken to hospital for treatment for what were described as light injuries. As we see here, if those are light injuries, what the hell are major injuries? It's America, I guess he hasn't been shot. Yes, so possible woke left nut job, not sure yet. Either way, all round arsehole, Isaiah Lee looks like this, so that Dave Chappelle, comedy legend, can look like this. As ever, thanks for watching. So, on Tuesday evening, at that, fuck, it should be Tuesday night. If you're un, uh, fucking pollen. It's the time of day where there's pollen everywhere. I'm effectively the Japanese girl at a tree's bukkake party. Pure speculation. But pretty much everyone's saying the same thing. It'll be some woke fucking nut job. Flix employees called for... So I'm just going to say this. Whenever I hear someone's getting cancelled on Netflix, I immediately go and watch their show, and it's always fucking brilliant. Just couldn't get these... Fucking hell. If it was Dwayne Johnson, I'll fuck that up. Start again. Rock. It'd been The Rock, as in Dwayne The Rock... Sorry. What would The Rock be doing at the Oscars? Getting an award for that scene in Fast 9 where he catches a car. We ascertained... Blah, blah, blah. Oh, fuck it. So here I am at a beautiful nature reserve, and there is a bag of dog shit.